Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and I bought this Alki Alki mic from Amazon for eleven dollars. Actually, I bought it on sale for four dollars. But the question is, is it any good? Well, it's exceptional. So first of all, this is a bi-directional mic, meaning that it picks up the sound from two directions, here and here. So make sure the metal is facing your mouth and not the plastic part like in this photo from their Amazon page. Otherwise, you will sound muffled. Next, we're going on to the features of this mic. It comes with a standard tripod holder, however it uses the normal kind of thread mount, so you can put it onto a boom arm easily, like I tried to do right here, for a more pro look. In the box, it also comes with an XLR to mic jack adapter, and a 2 to 1 adapter for those with newer laptops, an instructional manual, a 24 month warranty, and for those, of guy those guys who want the specs like me, here they are. First of all, this is not compatible with Mac OS X, and it may not be compatible with certain smartphones, but here are the specifications on screen. So this mic is actually an XLR mic, meaning if you plug this into an audio interface, it will sound a ton better. However, since most audio interfaces are around $20, and this mic is only four, you're most likely not going to get that. So I'll be testing this mic using the included XLR to mic jack adapter, which makes the quality a little less good. Also, the mic has a volume input, which I forgot to mention, so I'll be testing that too in this recording. So here is the audio test. Okay, this is a sound test with the Alki Studio mic. My face is about a foot away from the mic. I'm going to try and move my face closer and closer and closer and see how distorted this will get when I get closer and farther away. Once again, I'm a foot away. Now I'm going to try and turn the audio from 100% all the way down to zero. And I'm going down and down and moving the audio slowly down. higher, 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 it's 100% again, and I'm speaking into the front of the mic from the Alki symbol. Now I'm going to turn the mic around and listen to how this sounds. Okay, it's sh it should be sounding the same. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it to the side, and it should be sounding the same once again. Now I'm going to turn the mic while I'm talking and see if this makes any difference in how good you can hear me. And then once again, I'm going to go closer and closer and closer slowly to see where the sweet spot of how close or how far away your face should be from the mic when you're talking. Okay, now this is a sound test once again with my face a foot away from the Okay, I'm going to hold the mic because as you can see this tripod isn't that well built. The uh, problem is this cup right here doesn't hold the mic good. So I'm going to just hold it right in front of my, me right now. This is the sound test with the mic amplified now to see if you guys can hear me louder because that audio was indeed very, very quiet. One thing I do like about this mic, though, is that there is no white noise, even though I have my AC in the background. My Blue Yeti is so good at picking up audio, the background noise is totally pick up, picked up with my Blue Yeti, and it doesn't sound good if I have my AC on. But this thing doesn't pick up my AC at all, so we're going to go ahead and amplify this, and let me see how this sounds. So, as you heard, that audio sounds exceptional. I mean, it's definitely nowhere near the good audio quality this Blue Yeti is producing, and it's definitely nowhere near even the audio quality my camera would give out. But, um, I'm going to compare it to this and the Blue Yeti just to, sh just to show you the difference so that you don't expect too much. So, here is a comparison. Okay, so 
right here I have the Alki Studio Mic, and right here I have the uh, Blue Yeti. As you can see, I'm going to be switching, I mean, as you can hear, I'm switching between both the mics constantly. I have my face about one foot away from both the mics. I'm going to be switching between the two to let you decide which one sounds better. I have no idea. I mean, well, I have a basic idea. Yeah, I'm guessing, I mean, I'm not guessing, I know. The Blue Yeti is definitely going to sound better than this $4 mic. This $4 mic is a very budget mic, and I could recommend it, but here's the comparison between this and the Blue Yeti. I know this is not a fair comparison, but I just want to show you the audio level difference, because I can see the Alki mic is not picking up my voice good enough. You guys can barely hear me. Versus the Blue Yeti, you guys can hear me at your 50% audio levels using your headset. So, this is the audio test. I hope you guys can understand why you would go with the Blue Yeti and why this thing is acceptable. But let's continue. So, the question is, would I recommend this? Well, I would to certain people. Just note that if you're using this for gaming, it will pick up your keyboard noises, and that it's actually $12, however there's a sale going on when I bought it that makes it $4. Also it's probably going to be $30 by the time this video comes out, so that's a ripoff if it does. But overall, this is a solid mic for someone who wants a cheap budget option to get started on making a video or a uh, Skype call. Now, if you're if you're gonna get a Skype call, use your built-in webcam mic. It'll sound louder than this, and it's probably gonna be compressed anyways. But would I recommend this? I'd recommend it to someone who really needs an external mic, someone who is looking for something like this for a gameplay casting or something on YouTube. Then yeah, I would recommend this. And if you're going to go out and get the XLR uh, mic thing, then yeah, I guess that's okay too. But uh, overall. If you want a cheap mic for $4, wait for it to go on sale for $4 and then pick it up. It'll be a good deal then. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.